Thanks for watching WCCO at noon. I'm Kate Raditz. And I'm Kylie Burst. Kim and Allie have the day off. All eyes are on Governor Mark Dayton as he weighs his options on who he thinks should replace U.S. Senator Al Franken. Franken has said he will resign following weeks of allegations of sexual misconduct. Mary McGuire spoke with the governor today and joins us now. Mary, so what did he have to say? Well, Kate, a slew of different names have been thrown around as possible replacements for that Senate seat, namely his female lieutenant governor and fellow Democrat Tina Smith. However, the governor dismissed claims that he has already made his decision, saying they are all speculative. The governor addressed those questions at an event for the Minneapolis NCAA Final Four this morning. Franken's resignation leaves Dayton to appoint a replacement to serve until at least 2018. Then there would be an election to finish Franken's six-year term, which would have ended in 2020. He claims he is still in the, in the decision-making process and that he will not make any comments until he has made his final choice. I want uh, to be a great, a great United States Senator from Minnesota. And there are a number of people who fit that bill. Now, if Dayton does select Smith as his replacement, Republican State Senator and Senate President Michelle Fishbach will take her seat as Lieutenant Governor. The governor's team says Dayton could announce his decision over the weekend. They told reporters that anything is possible, so we will just have to wait and see when that decision is made. I also spoke with Senator Amy Klobuchar this morning. She wouldn't comment on the process and said it's his thing, referring to the governor. So stay tuned, Kate. All right. Thank you, Mary.